pause here and bring you in and tell us a bit about uh, when you were detained. Well, I got detained the same morning, about 4 o'clock mm -hmm. in the morning. I left from Western Avenue. And I wake up me and my girl and carry me to the station. They, not, they just said, they tell me, well, they tell me they just may have a quick meeting and they let me go right back. I left on a curfew and I don't know if I spread out that night. So You're on curfew because? On uh, insolent. Mm -hmm. uh, so I didn't know my house then. Why didn't my house? I can't carry me. Mm -hmm. So now, all of you guys are being held in three detention facilities, three cells, right? I'd argue maybe 20 man per cell, more or less. No, we, are, we couldn't fit in the cell, so we were right there. We could walk into the cell and walk over back because we okay. can't fit 65 of us. Okay. It's a small environment. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you were held there for seven days, more or less, right? We were held there for seven hard, full days. Mm -hmm. Full days. They start from the fifth, they done mm -hmm. come seven days from the, the fifth. 12. To the 12. Mm -hmm. To the 12 or seven days. Yeah. So you're being fed three meals a day. You don't have time to use the restroom. What was that particular experience? The restroom now. <laughs> See, the restroom now is a different situation now because it's an inhumane spot. Mm -hmm. You can't even go brush your teeth in a car, vomit your vomit. Mm -hmm. But remember, we're in the jungle, we have to adapt. Mm -hmm. We don't rest. Your, right, your rights get violated. You don't have nothing to say. You just have to adapt to the situation. If you can't cry, you can't lose your chance. Mm -hmm. But at what point were you told why you were being detained? I think it was on the fifth day, because we were sent for Mr. Williams, everybody, he's right mm -hmm. outside, no more for us to be. Mm -hmm. I think about the fifth day, no why, or the seventh day when I got the paper. Mm -hmm. The charge. seventh charge day, the last mm -hmm. day when it was served a piece of ink and paper and say, the minister signed something and we need to go to jail now. We don't know seven days now, we need to go to jail. We don't adapt now. That jail, we have to adapt now. Did you have any contact with your family? Did you have anybody telling you what was taking place? No. Before you received your charge sheet? Well, it just said uh, on the news that then it's hard, that some of you were in a prison. Mm -hmm. I don't know for what. No, Tell visit him, mm -hmm. is it? No, no just, yeah, just so your family will bring food for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You could get food, but not a safe family member. You could get food. They get so the they privilege. deliver it to you, but you don't talk yeah, to Yeah, I could get the privilege yeah. of the food. Mm -hmm. So what were you charged with? It's not a charge, it was a... Um, what did your charge sheet say? It was criminal activities, robbers around the city, and firearms. That was everything. Gun and yours? Gun involvement, guns and ammunition, and robberies across the city. Mm -hmm. What was explained to you when you gave... Th they're, they're very general charges, right? They're lying up, ten of us, just give us a charge, mm -hmm. and read it to us, nothing else. That's it? And the GSU was here to carry us at jail now. But this was, these charges were from previous incidents that they were alleging that you guys mm -hmm. were involved in? Previous incident, I am not among the convicted yet. Mm -hmm. So you cannot be a previous incident. But it's an allegation. An allegation, mm -hmm. accusing. Mm -hmm. Somebody thinks something now. Mm -hmm. They spe speculate. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yes, sir. <coughs> so you were read your charges. I'm trying to get a sequence of events here. You were read your charges, and then you were <coughs> transferred over to... The Hatterville prison. Mm -hmm. When we were running our charges, approximately an hour after mm -hmm. we were transported to separate from Queen Street to mm -hmm. Rockland Street, separate to mm -hmm. the prison. Now, you've been to Hatterville before? Yes. Right? On remand? Yes, ma'am. And for you? Yes. All right. So, what was the classification that you were given at the prison? The classification is simply I did three years accused wrongful and a murder. I did good. And that three years. The difference is we went no. Mm -hmm. If I was on a three years, I didn't want to go away from it. No, recently, no, where we gone through 30 days. Mm -hmm. Because this is not inhuman, it's not inhuman spot. Well, that's what I'm asking you. Were you placed in the very same area or no. under the same conditions no. as when you are on remand? No. Mm -hmm. The difference is that our lockdown era and the era in the remand was uh, everybody era. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're on lockdown? Lockdown era. Yeah. Okay, so in prison, describe that particular experience because you're saying that it was different than being on remand. On remand, it's more like a general population kind of thing, okay, right? Okay, I explain the differences. On remand, you have to have a portable, you have a fan, mm -hmm. you have a privilege. Mm -hmm. You can get up on the phone long, you know? Mm -hmm. No, what time of day now? The difference is when time of day, you're like, I got no fan. 
You don't have no light. You don't have no night from day. Mm-hmm. Understand? The fly, they eat you alive. Mm-hmm. They take a whole week to buy a fish to the jail. You understand? You just sleep still a snake. You see a real snake, but who job does no one curse? Mm-hmm. You understand? The experience what I can't show, because he can't show different. Mm-hmm. I can't show either the worst thing in the jail. Nobody went in the jail. Ten years right now, I just speak. No one going in a cell there. Mm-hmm. And I got in a cell there. You were in a cell by yourself? I was in two person, me and mm-hmm. very small in cell. Mm-hmm. We was in two. We suffered together. Mm-hmm. But we talked to one every day. Can't remember we have to go back home. We got family, we are human being, mm-hmm. you know. We have to use a plate for fun. Mm-hmm. Or a plate. Or literally fun. Not that your plate, for fun we fly, fun we sweat, because if I stop fun, you was soak in a sweat. Mm-hmm. You was smell bad. You have to bathe three times a day. So let me hear you. Uh, he says that your experience is different. Tell me about your experience. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because he never behind an iron curtain or an iron door. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The cell where we in a different, but I still confinement cell. Uh, cell when I get trouble on the neck. You know, a tower here as well at the back of the prison. Mm-hmm. But the cell different car, like, you know, and never, you know, the same building, oh, but sure. just that. Where you might not thing? have no light, no wind, no nothing. So it's pretty much dark. Yeah, can uh, I see? I have a question for you, Tyrone. Yes, I know sir. when I when I spoke with you on Wednesday, yes, sir. you had mentioned that um, a couple of people stepped out of line when they were brought in. And yes, you mentioned pepper spray. Yes, sir. Um, what did that experience involve, or who? How did okay. that come about? Everybody was ignorant at the moment, mm-hmm. so you know, exchange of words happened. I can't blame the jail for it because imagine like this, right? Mm-hmm. The pepper spray we needed. Mm-hmm. The people wanna want to listen. Can I get pepper spray? Mm-hmm. Because I followed up the rules and laws. Mm-hmm. Because we can't blame the jail now, because like jail have to adopt the fifty one. Mm-hmm. So if fifty man call a jail, ignorant for road for nothing, mm-hmm. problem must start. So a two, three man out of line, how forget about the one that know that this is a jail now. Mm-hmm. We can't help one of them because we respect the jail. Mm-hmm. And I understand that. You understand? So after that, you know, we got a meeting, Mr. Moria. We started to have a meeting like like about two weeks after. And I mean, all we need understanding, communication, everybody single out their problems, those go to school that one day. You know, kinda one of a smart man. Listen to what he read what he's what he's what he's studying together, you know. Mm-hmm. As one. Tyrell mm-hmm. mean read that, read that, read that. I think I bring the tablets there. If I bring the tablets, when I make a read. Mm-hmm. But I think I can remember one of them. We live together as brothers. Mm-hmm. Make we live together as brothers. We perish together as fools. Mm-hmm. That I think we have to read every day. Mm-hmm. Man of a smart man, true communication. So, Send me a tablet King. every day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a little tablet every day. Mm-hmm. You know? Make us keep your mind. Remember your iron curtains to read something every day help. Because then you think that in your mind. You adopt that. Mm-hmm. Remember you're in the jungle. Everything helps you in the jungle. You understand? So. You finished your, your time in confinement. What were you told when you were let go? Well, they just come in at night and um, tell us that pack, us, pack our bag, mm-hmm. um, pass a bill you're going home tonight. Tuesday night, this is the yeah. start. They told you possibly. Yeah. Eight o'clock. Mm-hmm. Yeah, night. Same thing for you? Two hours. Yeah, that you were going to go? Yes. And then you were put on the bus, and then what? We were single out. Fifth one of us with warrants, one man, one single out to the two different. Remember, we are one in a jail now. Mm-hmm. Now, what is separation now with the police? They're called now. Mm-hmm. We don't understand standing in a jail by the prison officer. They say by TV to play ball. Mm-hmm. No, we'll separate the crowd like we do something now. Okay, I, I'm glad that you brought that up because if you follow the timeline, you mm-hmm. were held at Queen Street. Those who are believed to be members of the, at, at Raccoon Street, I'm sorry, those who are believed to be members of the Banak Street group. And then those who are members of the George Street or those who are believed to be are held at Queen Street. They separate the two groups because they're saying that there's a feud between the groups, right? But in prison, clearly you can see that you guys were allowed to interact with each other. Yes. Now, you're playing basketball. I'm certain that that wasn't the only interaction yes. that you were allowed to do, right? Yes. Was there any other intervention that, that the prison was able to get you guys to sit down and either talk or try to sort out your differences if there was indeed one? It only we need one mm-hmm. meeting for Mr. Murray. Mr. Murray, I'm going to acknowledge. Mm-hmm. You only need one with me or with a man like me to help the talk. Because mm-hmm. if I never really talk, the ball game doesn't really affect. The ball game, a solution. Mm-hmm. Every day, you know, we need pepper spray now. Why we have human being understanding. Communication goes a long way. Mm-hmm. If the police let me do this, but the police let me do that. 
No communication. Just lock your lock up your I'm making a quarrel. Instead of making a talk, single out problems, you know. Remember we're a human being? Remember we're a human being, you know? We got fit name, we got love. You know? We believe in a God of privilege. Yeah. So what you're saying is that this <coughs> beef that police have said has existed for quite some time and has caused quite a number of the shootings that we have seen in the city was settled in the prison? I say settled, yes, because the man of knowledge, Mr. Murray, you know, make everything go good. Don't let the police make everything. I want to talk that meeting, make everything go good, you know. Mm -hmm. So why the police take you? I got knowledge like Mr. Murray. Help, go for your advice from Mr. Murray. Because the one where they hide, not to do the right thing. Me. What if their Can argument is that perhaps they have tried everything to bring you guys to the table okay. and that fell apart? OK. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a meeting. This is a meeting, yeah. This is a meeting. See me right there? Everybody in the meeting. Um, the question again, please. Yeah, my, my question to you is, but what if the department or the, the law enforcement would say, you know what, but okay. we've tried everything with okay. you guys. We've sat at the table and you guys still. don't want to listen. Funny, right? mm -hmm. They don't want crime stop. Put it like this. If crime stop, police not going to want it to pay. Mm -hmm. They don't need to help the police with nothing. We have to go for the high number. Because man, first experience. Mm -hmm. Because they got police with the bad things, too. Police with mm -hmm. the gun, police with the everything. Because mm -hmm. they're like human beings. They could do wrong, too. Mm -hmm. But put it like this, what they try to say, simply. On high places, they don't want to stop. They need money for this, they need money for that. But we did the fool with the bank fund. Mm -hmm. You understand? But they are really the fool. Because they did the fool, and we know it. But we can't mm -hmm. say it first, because we be at the top. So when we be at the top, they feel like a stupid. Mm -hmm. Where's it be? I know everything when they go in there. And I tell, because I'm a real man. Some of the police there with the, with the go past spotlight on them, eh? then they tell her, be it the city down. You understand? Mm -hmm. We're not calling them. We're not saying, come on, no problem with nobody. Mm -hmm. But you see, that's not something that you can prove. I don't want to prove it. If I prove it, I believe. Do you have proof to say that police officers are telling you to do this? <laughs> the proof is that we first hand. Mm -hmm. Like we have 20 months, we tell her one thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I think sometimes that when, when you're in a situation, and, and that's why it's important to have this conversation now. Uh, the state of emergency was put into effect because of the rising level of crime in this city. And particularly over that weekend. And over that weekend. But a crime You again. were selected, selected by the police, those who work in the community, because they have identified you as some sort of threat to public security. What do you respond to that? Um, You're law-abiding citizens that do nothing wrong? We not said there was nothing wrong because in the day we have to hustle out here. Mm -hmm. So being wrong, we have to hustle. Maybe still a little weed. We do something wrong, yes. But we survive mm -hmm. not doing nothing fool. I come out of jail and I got one charge sheet for after my murder. Mm -hmm. I get appealed back. Still not got one charge sheet after my murder. Mm -hmm. If I make a one charge sheet, now I can understand and listen. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because we use us the proof. The word proof goes a long way again, because put proof on me you now. Mm -hmm. I get three years detained for a murder. Walk it free for the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. And the DPP picked for me out of the hundreds of thousands of people out there. Send him back to jail. Because he, 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 he did it. He must say, do, 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 go out. Mm -hmm. Send him back to jail. Now I'm going to go out of the jail. I send the other CCJ court mm -hmm. with application. Can I need back my life and pick me up to get older? Mm -hmm. I can't make the broke without their father. I don't want a bad father. Spend all the way you have to come out. You understand? Even if I got your car still like to come out, that way I gone through. Mm -hmm. When I come out good, I still get tan. Mm -hmm. Pressure. Because they got to forgive. Mm -hmm. Something a man 10 years, you used to do something 10 years ago, you remember. You are still a judge, my man, to the day in 2018. Come on, we have to learn sense. Because I remember with the first hand experience out there. Let, let me let me bring a little bit of reporting here and I, and I and I and I mean no harm since you're having a clear and open yes. conversation yes. Right? anything good Come you on. were arrested and charged on an allegation of murder you've said that yourself yes. and if I recall correctly you Eugene were charged recently in connection with a robbery an allegation being made against you that you participated in a robbery you guys, you live on Banach Street, live. at the corner of Banach and Central American Boulevard. Yes, That's your geographic location, right? Yes, and sir. you live on Western Avenue, as you've said. Yes, now, Western Avenue is a distance away from Banach Street, but you're alleged to be a member of this particular group of people, right? <laughs> no. 
Is that correct? Yes, that, that's safe to say. I'm that, still that saying that. Right right? yes, Do you guys believe then that perhaps you were singled out, not only by your address, but in your case, perhaps based on the crime that they allege that you commit recently, yeah, and the fact that you and this man are, are friends and you probably grew up together and whatever. So you were dragged into this, in your opinion, I'm not putting the words in your mouth, but I'm just yeah. trying to understand. You were dragged into this based on because what has happened recently. Yeah, recently. Yeah. You want to expand on that? Well, everybody don't know that only that they make them come for me. Nothing else, because I don't like that. Is don't know about nothing in the neighborhood or nothing. Mm -hmm. Nobody care me if I'm shooting. I never get charged in a shooting or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. So I know you know no gang activity thing when they say. Mm -hmm. I think it depends on them. Sure. Some of the man there, I, I, I can't talk for myself. I get charged. Mm -hmm. But some of the man there, the 10 man there, again, we never get charged here then. A man come out of a girl, I get three weeks, 21 days, but you could prove robbers on the city. You got 21 <coughs> days. Does it make sense? No. How do you feel about the level of shootings and murders and criminal activity that we have been seeing in this city? It happens on your streets, it happens to your friends, your family. How do you feel about it? See, I feel very bad about it because we are all black brothers, mm -hmm. you know? We are all black brothers. You see one another every day. So I feel that that's the, that's the, the, the level of respect right now. You know, we make everything good right now. They got the police and they do their job. And, and they want to play killer part, you know? Send them to school, go to the ball game, do something. Invest in the money or something, you know? Not a civic center. Mm -hmm. At least one million, not a civic center. Invest in the street, you know? You know, there are a lot of people who are watching the show right now who are probably saying, Listen, all of us live in the city. All of us are Belizean. All of us must be held to the very same standards as everyone else. And there are many poor black men in this country who don't get involved in gangs, who don't commit crime, who don't shoot or kill people. And to say that there is no choice or there must be a hustle it's not a general statement you can make about us. Mm -hmm. That's right. What do you say to that? Hmm. Well, what I say to that, <coughs> general statement, um, end of the day, right? I don't, I don't person on the floor, right? Mm -hmm. And a lot of people I see every day with the sofa, right? Mm -hmm. I never see a minister around there. Name one time walk the street. Mm -hmm. You walk the street, you cry right now. So you say, how can I think garbage at it? So you need the minister to say We don't only need the minister, we need help. If the minister can help, somebody help. Make Taiwan there help then. Make, not all of we neither. Help everybody, we need help. Can you help one person? Help the nation. Explain to you, just like this. What the man try to say, right? The need to make like the minister, and then when they talk about minister, to make like then create more job and then in the neighborhood, because when jobs are in the neighborhood, Everybody active to do something. Mm -hmm. They know they stray about and they idle and they think about shot nobody or nothing. Mm -hmm. When they had them um, street projects, whole of me for our street work every day. Mm -hmm. No gun, no they shoot, nothing like that. Nobody know they get robbed or nothing, but then no job. Lot of man no got no real education or then they wrong me for our street. Mm -hmm. The one yeah. or two have only sense yeah. and then yeah. you yeah. understand? Yeah. And I leave one day, lots of them come out of school for the young and they say like, try to come for the young man, try to carry in a school or something. So the young boy seem an easy way out to hang out and thief and do all kind of simpleness. Because their parents know they take care of them like that. You know? They take they care of them. People are poor people around me. Take care of them. Okay. No. Again, I'll, I'll ask, and, and it's an honest question once again, right? Yes, sir. You guys are from that neighborhood. You hang out there, you live there. A majority of your lives have been spent in that yes. particular community. Yes. So you're saying that there isn't sufficient job opportunities yeah. for you guys to find work, right? You're also saying that there's a dropout rate among the kids that are supposed to be in school who live in that area. Yes. You guys are older though, mm -hmm. right? So to some extent, you have an influence over what happens in that community. Right? Um, what do you feel your role is as a man 
Nairobi. living in the Gostong Banak Street area and seeing some of these things that perhaps you can help to change. My role is in the back area, playing a shirt, because you can't spit. I have to worry about who hungry today, mm -hmm. who have a coffee at five dollars to eat today. Mm -hmm. Have to worry about what I have three hundred dollars today because I have somebody need to eat something, somebody need something up there. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because at the end of the day, I have one to people. Mm -hmm. That's why man, like, we're not fortunate because we got a million dollars we split in the community. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, material things does not matter. Mm -hmm. When I did a love, family, mm -hmm. pray every day to God. You know, try something new. Understand? Because even today, when I call communicate to somebody, I know somebody. Mm -hmm. You can't watch somebody from a mile away and say, boy, that man a bad man. Mm -hmm. Reach the man and shake the man and ask the man, or the man and see the man a bad man. Mm -hmm. It makes sense? So, in the day, run the community very bad. The drop out rate, if I go to school 100, I know, five on the finish. Mm -hmm. Understand? What's your what's ratio between that? Mm -hmm. The ratio is. That the city, not a but the question job. is, which one happens first? Why do people drop out of school? Why, why are young boys? Okay. Many of them are being recruited into gangs okay. to do gang activities, okay. to sell the drugs. Okay. And which is happening first? Is it okay. they're already in school and they're recruited okay. out? They're already in school. They might can find them when they finish school. Mm -hmm. How I put it first, I know. Mm -hmm. How you know in an experience? Mm -hmm. They maybe have to sell their body. How we put it first, I'm like this now. Mm -hmm. I have to understand what happened. Then they try. You can't try when you don't get help. Mm -hmm. So anyway, you can't blame the youths. You have to be in the manner. You have to be in the system. You have to go higher. Mm -hmm. You can't blame the youth. Because if you blame the youth, you have to, to be wrongful. You have to, to be a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. Because you don't know you have to pick up for the matter away. Mm -hmm. Reach out to the youth. Hold the hand. Son, what happened? My mama hungry. My mama can't finish school. You understand? Because we can't talk. Where the, where the people, the high people talk you now. You have to listen to the first time experience what it happened. You understand? So you come out, one day you come out, one day you, mommy, come on, go around the neighborhood. You ask them, why don't I know tell lie? Can I dear people? The first time experience, bottom line. But there's a difference between helping someone complete their education, which is essential. Well, if I have the finance that I'm going to go to jail every minute, I'm going to help. Well, remember, I spent four years at jail, I don't know, five months out there. It makes sense. When I do it, I did love way. Because then they attack my last five hours, I give you. Because I wasn't hungry like before you hungry. Because mm -hmm. I know when I go down the street, I will get on next morning. Mm -hmm. Simple. First time, when I tell lie, I will be first time now. Because people have to know what happened. Mm -hmm. Why the system is so? So let me ask you a question, Tyrone, because you, you, I like your, your outspokenness, right? Have you at any point considered Applying for a job, consider. I'm asking. It's a legit question because. If Are you, you in, working? Did you have a job before you went in? I'm jobless. Okay. I'm very jobless right now. Well, take, out, take out the murders where they accuse me for. Have Like, I, I, I'm asking because at some point, okay, that would have crossed your mind. Look okay. Up to I'm on a knowledge now. I'm on a knowledge now, right? I'm on a knowledge now. You don't get charged. Mm -hmm. Accuse me. Mm -hmm. Eight time accused wrongfully. Mm -hmm. Does it make sense if you send my paper? You see people they to they finish my you will be a can't get my job. Mm -hmm. It makes sense, Mr. Bradley, if you do this paper and send this down the street so mm -hmm. I get what we are so very if the government don't give you nothing, don't paint a block. Mm -hmm. They don't give you the black ink. So mm -hmm. they, I could have you, you know, I give me no job. Remember them, you, you got a job record, you got mm -hmm. a qualification to get this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because this is for the paper. Eight time don't get you got charged eight time. Two thousand what? Seven. Mm -hmm. That's eight, you know, you can't work here. You don't get charged back then, you must have still a thief. Mm -hmm. You put it first, and no, because you talk to a man and knowledge now. You have you tried about. Eugene? Get one? Yeah. Tell us the experience. Well, this, the, like what a man said, we back wrong, we record, so we, watch out. You get charged for a crime, but you don't get convicted for the crime, but still that, they put a rap sheet, that not right. Mm -hmm. That wouldn't go against right there, so. Mm -hmm. Understand? But I get I get convicted for firearm already, so that the like that I over and over that time always be my you know. There's been a number of initiatives headed up by Mr. Williams himself and others going into communities, gang interventions, mediations. Have you been a part of those? Have you been a part of those? We've been a part of those. 
But in a sense, so why didn't it work? It. You know what? Because the communication again, mm -hmm. we can repeat one thing over and over. The communication is not there. You know, play no music. I don't pipe thing. I do not understand this. It's like a wap up. You have a beat. I get first and experience. Why I can mm -hmm. explain to you. Every question you ask me, I get answer for. Mm -hmm. You feel worship in a different way now. So you're going to meet in right now. You threaten people instead of dry food. If you're going to eat something, mm -hmm. you watch Ali. Why can't you move? Maybe watch Ali movie. Mm -hmm. Brother, that's communication. You can just watch somebody and tell them stop to that. Because in the day, you don't know God. Help them and learn something. Teach something. Mm -hmm. What's your experience with the gang intervention? Well, no, like, the way Mr. Moreau may have, right? He make uh, everybody talk and uh, say what they want to say. But then, when Chester Williams and they have it, everybody get up and uh, back down one another. Wow. Throw big argument, cuss up. Argument. Uh, they left it right there. They left it happen. They never say, well, I'm going to relax or something. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so I'm certain it's not only Chester Williams that's a part of this intervention uh, initiative, though. You have other people, perhaps like Brother Nuri, you have Diane Finnegan that are also active in trying to reach out to you young men. Um, so none of these approaches don't work. Let's, let's remove Chester Williams out of it for the time being. Nobody else none has- None of the interventions. Yeah, nobody else and none of the other attempts to get yeah. you guys around a table I'm a very work. smart man, I answer every question vigilantly. Mm -hmm. Just like this, you've got 30 mm -hmm. money in one meeting, you don't have to do a job yet. You know, nothing mm -hmm. with money, no finance yet. Mm -hmm. Nothing to talk with money. You're going out to the meeting, you're hungry. I understand kind of like this now. You can understand what happened. Mm -hmm. If you then I meet the third time and no alternatives, not for the table. Mm -hmm. Understand mm -hmm. because talking about knowledge don't if you can understand what happened. Mm -hmm. No alternative not for the table right now. Third time man. Mm -hmm. Just we say, stop your trouble. This, that, 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 that. And then they we black and we hungry too. And they don't minutes not call up me to all minutes not call wrong. So they want to go there, we're hungry. We need to plan now to eat. Survive in the jungle. The kind of day men stand a day to nobody day to. You are done paid block already. So you have to survive. You are still in the jungle to survive. Eat was small leaf if you have to eat that leaf there. Because we put it first and don't know. We got every question and an answer right now. Wait let, me, let me bring this back to the state of emergency for a minute. We don't have exact numbers, but if we were to do a poll, there are a small few people who are concerned about the human rights aspects of what was undertaken. But there's a greater <coughs> majority who said the city was safer. My question to that? Your response, Your response. to I that. Res my response to that, okay, um, it was safer. I don't I say it wasn't safer. It was safer, but watch it like this now. Can I watch it like this? That the two gang, what in the rest of the gang there? Suppose I pipe my stone on somebody's face to call them out there. No, but next step of emergency, within our stage of emergency. We can't have dinner only two gang. But Tyrone, you see what, what, what you're saying there is concerning. Because every person, every individual human being, you speak of being a human being, has a choice of how they react. They have a choice yes, of who, can, who they will hurt. Yes, they have a choice that yes, comes with consequences. Yes, ma'am. So, any person can be put in a situation, but they choose yes. how they will respond. Yes, My concern with what I'm hearing you say is that this is just the way it is. And, you know, if a gang does, someone does something to me, this is how we must react. No, I'm saying, saying there that. must be a state of emergency. We are all as Belizeans yes. bound to the laws. Mm -hmm. It is not, a, and we are a poor country. Yes, yes. very Almost poor. Half but almost half our population don't have criminal records. They don't necessarily come in conflict with the law. Yes. So there is a difference mm -hmm. between the people who choose to get in, co come in contact with the law and those who don't. Yes, ma'am. And I feel that what I'm not hearing is the element of choice that you have in this. My element of choice is right now Stay out of trouble and I'll do nothing. If I see my man, there's a sleeping dog left alone. Mm -hmm. Understand that? My choice, I don't know what that's their choice. My man, I talk, I talk just now for other gangs. I don't know what they think. Mm -hmm. We can't think, you don't know what this man think. Mm -hmm. I'd be first hand for no. me personally, I could talk for myself. I don't want to see my gun. I don't I want to see my girl, my picnic. But what about the rest of my man? Mm -hmm. 
Man kann immer, wenn man ein Innocenter hat. Ja, dann hat er gar keine Konviction. Er kann auch nicht nur, er hat gar keine Konviction, wenn er schreibt, dass er hier ist. Give a new charge. Because I love my pick, I miss it. I can't accuse the wrong people of it. No, I please the anything when I want. I'm a try, you know. I might come out of the jungle now, one week. And for you, Eugene? Well, I never, you know, I never, you know, it's not at all from the beginning. You know, put me in a never cousin one time I get busted with a gun. From about 2004. And that's like, I don't know. Let me, let, me, let me come from a legal angle now to at least get Dicky involved in the conversation. So I presume that these young men are both of your clients, correct? During their detention, one, one. one Mr. Mean. During the detention, um, and you are aware of him being held at the Raccoon Street Police Station first and then the Belize Central Prison. Mm -hmm. Was there any attempt on your part to try to contact him to, to make sure that his rights weren't being trampled upon, to make sure that, that the basic standards afforded to the human being are being upheld, and that sort of a thing? No, I was basically tied up in this local court. But okay. Let me try, because you and Marlene are focusing on the, the criminal, the person who is the smaller minority in a bigger society. Mm -hmm. okay. What then two men are to tell you in the case of Tilly T actually had one conviction mm -hmm. when he gone to prison. You got parole? Nope. The these people they represent a special element of the statistics that you mentioned, that almost half the population of this country are living in poverty. Mm -hmm. The invitation to come to Mayflower Street and just do a slight interaction with who are there mm -hmm. is very important. Mm -hmm. You know, missing from this conversation of the, according to the government gazette, there are 70 people who were swept up under this completely unacceptable approach to fighting crime. Mm -hmm. So I want, to, I want to put. Can I, can I just say, unacceptable, yeah? but allowed for within our laws? Well, I don't agree with you, but that's a whole nother conversation. Our States of emergency. Allow, our laws allow for a state of emergency? Not for pick up people out of the house. State of emergency, a flood, a hurricane, an earthquake, tsunami. Mm -hmm. There's a monstrous fire where they create mm -hmm. problem and so you and mean you know security? sorry? And national security? Because what is national security there? if you go pick no, up? No, I'm asking for what the law says. Well I'm answering you. Mm -hmm. State of emergency not to better this man who take down the door and take him off the prison. Mm -hmm. He is not fully explaining what he experienced, you know. Mm -hmm. He is in a building where there's no window. There's no ventilation. It have a mosquito on the pen on the live cross the river where when mosquito could not be then, according to them, they sell their is infested with ants. They actually see a red snake come out of a hole. No ventilation. They are not animals, you know. People so behave how you treat them. Now, that, mm -hmm. that treatment mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in the prison is like a little different from the treatment where then they get in a fair society. Mm -hmm. You ask some question to Taiwan and the two and they laugh. Apply for your job. Excuse me. People graduate from university or the school yeah, and can can find a job. Mm -hmm. People go to college, listen to their mommy and daddy. Go to college, graduate, and can't find a mm -hmm. job. Thousands and thousands of people, you know. So it's easy for the bourgeoisie and the middle class and upper class mm -hmm. to holler, mm -hmm. who lock them up, beat them up, shoot yeah, them, do all kind of things. Can I mention something? Let me, let, me, let, me, let me stop you there. Because what I want to ask is regarding the state of emergency. Obviously, there's a legal case that is coming out of this. What are your allegations being made? Okay, let's start with a couple of them. The state of emergency was declared on the 4th of September. Mm -hmm. In the morning, they come with, I'll use strong language, they come with a Nazi tactic. Mm -hmm. They can't come to your house like you're a human being and say, you're wanted for so-and-so. Stamp down your door, drag you up. 
Monday night and jazz from Monday in Papa and close. Mm -hmm. No respect for the mother and the other people in the house. Mm -hmm. They do it all the time, so it's like acceptable to the society. They, they drag you off. Fourth day of September, there's a state emergency. The declaration, the proclamation, mm -hmm. does not get implemented in terms of the whichever minister, in this case, the minister for the police, minister of national security. He does not sign, I'll give you a copy of the, the document. He does not sign until the 11th day of September. Those are the regulations. That he's going to detain persons. So what happened to the 100 and odd people who were picked up in that fashion from the 4th of September? Now what you're saying is legally they should have been done at the same time. At the it is illegal what has been done to them. 100 and odd citizens, I believe, mm -hmm. accused of the worst thing, is entitled to be treated under the law. You're quoting the law. Well, the law says you treat me as mm -hmm. a mm -hmm. okay? So from the 4th of September mm -hmm. to the 11th of September, 100 and odd citizens who somebody must have sit down and say, make you get this one, make you get that one, make you get that one, mm -hmm. have been subjected to that conditions. You all got a couple of pictures in terms of the people who are at Queen Street who don't even have a cell to be in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're all crowded in the corridor like animals. Fourth to the 11th of September. That is unlawful, illegal, inhumane, and unworthy of our society. Mm -hmm. Let's start there. That is illegal. For them who have been formally, legally detained with effect from the 11th of September to the end of the emergency, which would be the end of the, of the September period, what is their situation? There is no allegation that any one of them during the period of the state of emergency broke any law. Let me read for you and your viewers what they are locked up under. You want to read it? All right. No call no name. Just read one and two and three and left out the name. He wants to read it himself. The RA may be cited as emergency power detention order 2018. Personal to regulation, the bill says satisfied door. I use the name. George Street, Billy City has been concerned in acts prejudicial to the public safety, safety of the public order, including of the offense under the criminal. Control and Criminal Justice Act are in the preparation of instigation of such acts in the detained in the detained from September 11, 2018, until the end of the period of public emergency, which commenced with the proclamation proclamation of the government general general published in the Belize Gazette Exchanger of fourth day of September 2018 in the first first turn. Okay. Furtherance. In the furtherance of the paragraph, the acts prejudicial to the public safety, the public order in the concern of speci specific, specifically involving gang, involving drug. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that is a detention order mm -hmm. on the grounds that each person, in this case, involved in gang activity, involved in drug trafficking. In some other case, you're involved in firearm matters. Mm -hmm. Don't say when. Mm -hmm. Don't say where. Mm -hmm. There is no details. None of them have no charge sheet to go to no court. You know. This is just a detention order to lock up people. Mm -hmm. yeah? In conditions so that's, where. That's I where your challenge is, the legality of that. No, yes, that is okay. one of them because it says here, listen to this. If I can jump in quickly, the yeah. key, if you'll allow me to. Okay, so I've also done an interview with a young man uh, on the same day that I spoke with Tyrone Wayne. And this young man is an alleged to be a part of the George Street group. This is a working person who, by all accounts, has never been charged with mm -hmm. anything. A mature citizen. Yeah, mm -hmm. with a family. working person with a family. It just so happens yeah. that his brother's circumstances. Circumstances, yeah, I'll, I'll use your word there. Okay. The circumstances, but this is the thing. He was also given a charge sheet, but he has never committed a crime. He has never been charged been involved with anything, in anything before. So where does the charge sheet come from with those particular offenses? Well, clearly, you when you that? leave these matters like that, mm -hmm. there are bound to be human errors. Mm -hmm. Innocent people get swept up. You mm -hmm. think they are to challenge being swept up and locked up under those conditions? Or no, it's all right for them to... Now, the legal cases that are coming out, some would argue perhaps the police may have anticipated. In, in Trinidad, we saw the same. In Jamaica, I think there are cases that came out as well. 
Um, but I know for sure in Trinidad. What do you see at a time when, like I said, we don't have the numbers, and I can't, I can't quote you numbers, and it should be based on facts based alone, but people have been looking and clamoring for something to be done to calm down the crimes we were seeing in the streets. And if you were to ask John and Jane public, mm -hmm. they'll say, look, for one month, I don't know whether or not these people were actual criminals or not, but for one month, things were calmer. What do you say to them, Dickie? Hmm. Listen, we live in a country where we want to be able to boast that we live under laws and not under people. Mm. It's not happening overnight. Mm -hmm. You know, get up one morning and a man turn into a criminal and one bad man. But through the hear in their own way, in their articulate expression is that they are, and I really don't want to use the word, but they are, they are the end product of a society in which we are losing it. I saw a dog when I have no hair on Saturday morning. Gam means she can't gam means no more. Do you know that there are people who their children so love the leap of his day? They want to play leap of his puppy get big, they can't feed the puppy. Mm -hmm. So they take the dog up the road from the bicycle and they throw on one side and hurry ride and left him. Mm -hmm. That never used to happen in this society. You go in prison with a thousand six hundred men. You know missing from this conversation, there are no women. Of the, by the way, it's not 51 persons, it's 70 persons according to the Gazette that have been detained. Mm -hmm. Of which some are innocent and some have bad criminal record. Mm -hmm. Tyrone Main was accused of murder. I think the worst crime is rape and then the other crime is murder. Mm -hmm. But the law treats murder as the worst crime. You should be hanged. That is the law in this country. Nobody has to hang nobody. How come there's a silent on that? You should spend your life in prison because the Holy Bible says an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, a limb for a limb, and a life for a life. Now, people commit murder and they get 25 years. They get parole. Man gone to jail for, for firearm and no get parole. The, the whole, you know, you take a long while, so I don't want to go through all that. Listen, it is, in my view, and in the view of a number of attorneys, and some of them I can, I will call their name. Lisa Schumann, Anthony Sylvester, Karim Musa, Adi Matura, they, they are concerned that this matter, we need to meet a little bit more and we need to think about it. Because if they don't challenge this, the next time it will be worse. Mm -hmm. You mean we want to allow the forces of law and order to be able to sweep up people and lock them up? My brother is just saying, a completely innocent man, so when they get juked down the prison, they put him in rape and in a jail. Nobody care about that. Or care well, about the thing that. about it so is, is that he has I'm trying exposed. to answer, yeah? Because if he was not a part of it, and the fact that he was swept up as a part of it, and then taken to the Hattiesville prison, the so-called enemies would that automatically yeah. associate him with that group, which exposes him altogether. Let me, let, me, let me read something for you there. First one to Galatians 18, when the minister is satisfied that such and such a person has been concerned in acts prejudicial to the public safety or public order, including offense under the Crime Control Act, or in the preparation, or in the instigation. Excuse me, which one are any person do? I hear alone or and or and or. Mm -hmm. This is just bogus to sweep up people because the police had and were faced with a very serious problem. Their information is that there was going to be retaliation between two gangs. And they don't have the slightest idea what to do. You all are accusing them, but there have been interventions, but you've gone mm -hmm. aside. They tell you what the intervention. It's unfair to the police that they're even involved in their intervention. They can't create jobs. They can't provide jobs. You ought to drive around so and say, I just, I just me, told let him. Me, let, me, let me bring you back again, because what I'm hearing from you is that the challenge is primarily looking at the legality of the detention, the lateness in the gazetting of the regulations, and the broad 
detention order that each person or those you represent have been given? Those are your primary areas of... of when, no, this is bigger than that, man. Mm -hmm. When your society reaches a stage where you use tsunami or earthquake law, we start to sweep up people, both so-called innocent and so-called guilty. You really have a problem in Belize that you now have exhausted every available option that you are going to violate the human rights, the fundamental rights, mm -hmm. the constitutionally guaranteed rights which mm -hmm. are suspended in our state of emergency mm -hmm. in order for you to have a temporary peace. Everybody, the whole in Britain, say when they boy come out, they were so angry, they were start to shoot them. Does he sound like an angry man who wants to shoot somebody? Well, they don't see they would me. have every reason to be angry for what they have gone through. But listen, I'm glad you're having this conversation. You need now to get the girlfriend and the wife and the mom and the people and ask them what kind of life you're living, where it happened. We are the ones <laughs> that are serious questions. You know. All right, that we have experience. Them. Well, and, and all we can say is thank you for coming on to share that. Okay. We are out of time. Uh, we have discussed the state of emergency from all angles, and I think this especially gives some, uh, it sheds some light on what the experience was like firsthand. So thank you for coming in and sharing oh. that. We're going to go ahead and take a break. When we come back, we'll be talking about the grand opening of the new Marab. So stay tuned.